Good evening, and welcome to Hoboken High School. My name is Robin Picapietra, and I'd like to welcome you. As you know, we couldn't hold our traditional back-to-school night, but I wanted you all to see our beautiful school and meet some of our amazing faculty. Of course, you will have the opportunity on Thursday, October 8th at 5 p.m. to meet with your child's teacher. But until then, please enjoy our video. Hi, I'm Chef Nelson. I'm the culinary arts teacher here at Hoboken High School, and I've been teaching for over 10 years. I teach culinary arts and international pastries. The thing I really enjoy a lot about teaching our students is the ability to give them skills that they'll use for the rest of their lives. And it's awesome when we can enjoy the fruits of their labor. Have a great night. Hi, my name is Danielle Miller, and I am the theater teacher here at Hoboken High School. I have been teaching here for 10 proud years. Courses that I teach are Theater One, Principles of Acting, which is an introduction course to theater, and it gives students an overview of all the aspects of theater that can be useful in your everyday life because theater can teach you 21st century skills such as teamwork and collaboration, public speaking, and also self-confidence. Hi, I'm Dave Stasiak, and I've been the music teacher at the high school for the last 10 years. This year, I'll be teaching global beats and electronic music and songwriting. I also run the marching band, concert band, and chorus. The thing I like the best about working with high school kids is that I can have a real conversation and really connect with them about something that has a huge impact on their daily lives, music. Hi, I'm Cheryl Amatucci. I teach art and photography with Adobe here at Hoboken High School. The staff here is super supportive and I think your child's gonna be happy here. This is Mrs. Bavacqua. I am a health and phys ed teacher. I've been teaching for 20 years, and this year, or currently, I will be uh, doing the remote physical education and health um, from home. Um, what I love most about teaching is sharing my passion for health and fitness with the students and getting them moving and feeling healthy throughout the day. Hi, my name is Mr. Colmer. I've been in the Hoboken Public School District for now 19 years, and this is my fourth year at Hoboken High School teaching physical education. I'm also the head boys basketball coach, and I love what I do because I love to be around the kids and see them be active and enjoy their time at the school because, as I always tell them, it goes so fast, and I like to see them enjoy what they're doing. Hi, my name is Ms. Pogoszelski. Uh, the students call me Ms. Pogo. I've been working here for five years and I am one of the physical education and health teachers. Uh, one of my favorite things about working here is all the different personalities of the kids. Um, they always keep me on my toes and it really lets the day go by and you know, it's never the same. It's always lots of fun. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Mr. Thomas. I've been teach teaching here at the high school for uh, five years now. This is my fifth year. Uh, I teach all the biomedical science courses. So we have four courses um, for the Project Lead the Way program. And again, I teach the biomedical science courses. Uh, my favorite thing about teaching here at the high school uh, and teaching those classes is just our ability to do any type of labs, uh, any type of experiment uh, that uh, we wanna do. Uh, the Hi, my name is Chris Williams. I am the engineering teacher here in the high school. I've been teaching in the district now for eight years. I am also the head baseball coach and boys and girls bowling coach. What I love most about engineering is the creative outlet that it gives students during the day in the forms of hands-on activities. Um, engineering is problem solving. In my class, they will learn uh, critical thinking skills, collaboration skills, communication skills. All of those will be handy to them in anything they do in life. Hi, 
Hey, welcome to our back to school night. My name is Michelle McGreevy. I am the school library media specialist at Hoboken High School. I have been here for 20 years and I hope to be here a lot longer. I really enjoy this school. We have fantastic students who are curious and funny and interesting and want to learn all about the world. And we are so delighted to have them back with us. Um, what I teach is information literacy, digital citizenship, and of course, fostering the love of reading. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs. Lorna Courtney Martinez. This is my 16th year teaching at Hoboken High School. I teach self-contained and inclusion special education. I love my job and I love being part of the Red Wing family. I teach with some of the most amazing people on earth. I am so grateful to wake up every day and be a part of the Hoboken High School family. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Crane and I am currently a special education teacher of, of a few inclusion classes including biology, chemistry, algebra 2, computer essentials, and biomedical science. I have attended Monmouth University and I just graduated so this is my first teaching job which I am very excited about. Hi. My name is Rini Tronis, and I am the school nurse at Hoboken High School. I have worked here for the past nine years. Before coming to Hoboken High School, I worked at Connors Primary School. I like working at Hoboken High School and in the Hoboken District because I have known many students and their families for a long time. Hoboken High is an awesome place to work. My name is Gerard Friedman. I am the athletic trainer at Hoboken High School and I've been working here for 10 years. Uh, what I love most about working with the Hoboken High School student athletes is how motivated they are to get better at their sport uh, and learn some important life lessons that come with that. Hi Hoboken, this is Dr. A. I am the school psychologist on the child study team at Hoboken High School. I have been lucky enough to be with our district since 2005, and I have had almost every grade. I have worked from the preschool all the way up to grade 12 as a school psychologist. Here at Hoboken High School, I'm on a child study team with my coworker, colleague, and friend, Ms. Patricia Drumgool, who is the school social worker. Hi. Patty Drumgool here, proud social worker on the child study team at Hoboken High School. Throughout my 27 year career in Hoboken, I have had the pleasure of bearing witness to our ever evolving community. One thing I love about Hoboken High is its ongoing commitment to diversity. Regardless of race, ethnicity, culture, gender, religious beliefs, political views, class, you are always accepted and respected in our building. Hi, I'm Doug McCauley. I'm the uh, video in the Collective World 1 and 2, as well as the sports and TV journalism teacher. I've been here at Hoboken for the past 13 years, and I've been teaching in uh, Hudson County for the last 19. Uh, one of the great parts about being a Red Wing and being a part of this school is that I always want to be the teacher that made it that my kids would dream again and also that my students would be the most marketable. Hi, I'm Derek England, Director of Athletics here at Hoboken High School. I've been in this district for 20 years and I've been in this city for about six decades now. Um, my favorite part of being an athletic director is getting to witness our alumni come back and interact and speak with our current student athletes and when they share stories and their commonalities and their experiences it is just amazing to watch what it means to be part of the Red Wing family. Hi, I'm Fiona Stevens and I teach English at Hoboken High School. I've been teaching here for 18 years and the thing I like most is the camaraderie between the faculty and the students. Hello, my name is Denise Chaykoff. Um, this is my 22nd year teaching at Hoboken. Um, I taught in the middle school, I've taught at the high school, so I've taught every grade from 7th to 12th grade and on um, the past few years I've settled in 
to teaching seniors. I'm very thankful to be back and to be social again. I'm just looking forward to a great year, maybe a strange one, but a great year. Hi, my name is Miss Lisa. I am a teacher of business and English as a second language, and I've been teaching for 18 years. Hello, I'm Cecilia Sanchez D'Elia, and I am the director of the school-based youth service program, otherwise known as the Student Center. And I have been running the Student Center since September of 2009. So as you can tell, I really like it here because I've been here for a while. And I've been at the Hoboken Public Schools since September of 2001. So I'm just completing my 20th year. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Ms. Cangeloso, and I'm the mental health practitioner at the Student Center at Hoboken High School. My background is in art therapy, which combines the use of creative expression and traditional talk therapy to provide an overall therapeutic experience. At the Student Center, I provide individual and group counseling. I also assist with recreational activities, employment support, and academic assist assistance alongside Dr. Delia. I've been at Hoboken High School for almost two years, and my favorite part about working here is being able to watch students grow. Hi, my name is Derek Puccini. I'm the vice principal at Hoboken High School. I'm in my 11th year in the district and first year as vice principal. Uh, what I love most about being in education is seeing the growth in our students from when they first come into our building uh, to when they uh, graduate in June. Hello, I'm Michael Ponce, one of the vice principals here at Hoboken High School. This is my fourth year at the Hoboken Public School Districts. Uh, I'm excited to continue working with our parents, students, and staff. Uh, what I love most about Hoboken is the students, the, the pride that they have in being Red Wings, and also the sense of community we have. Um, as we kick off another year, I look forward to keep supporting our teachers, staff, and students in order to create a challenging environment for, uh, for all. Always feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. I'm here to give you some guidance and support. Thank you very much for everything and enjoy back to school night. Hello, my name is Gina Matera and I'm your student assistance coordinator for the district. I've been now with Hoboken a little bit more than 10 years. And one of the things that stand out with my experience in Hoboken is how much I enjoy working with the students as well as their families in a close knit community. Much of what I do is to support students in making the best decision possible to make healthy decisions. I also serve as a resource for families with any other outside services. Hi, I'm Susan Weiner from the Hoboken High School Guidance Department. I am the school counselor this year for our 10th and 12th grade students. I also was an English teacher before I became a guidance counselor. My favorite thing about being a school counselor at Hoboken High School is that I get to stay with my students from ninth grade all the way through 12th grade and I get to know them and their families really well over that time. So that helps me to work with students on planning for college and careers after high school. And this is my partner in the guidance department, Stacy Gleason. Hi, my name is Stacy Gleason, and I am the guidance counselor this year for grades 9th and 11th. Um, I worked in admissions and higher education before I came to Hoboken High School about eight years ago. So I really get to go into depth um, regarding the college application process with my students. Um, and I love that I have them, you know, from 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade. So I get to know them, I get to know their families, and we get to see how much they grow over the, the years that we have them, which is something that I think is really special. So thank you. Thank you. Hola, soy la señora Cruz y soy maestra de español en Hoboken High School. Saludos a todos. Estoy muy encantada de estar aquí. Tengo 17 años trabajando en Hoboken High School, 6 años como maestra de español. Y para mí ha sido un orgullo ser maestra de todos los estudiantes que he podido trabajar en, en, durante todo este tiempo. Hoboken High School es una escuela muy diversa que ofrece muchas oportunidades para los estudiantes y que todos los estudiantes pueden aprovechar. Nosotros nosotros como maestros y como equipo de, en la escuela, los ayudamos a todos los estudiantes para que puedan aprovechar cada oportunidad necesaria y puedan ser exitosos en todo lo que ellos se proponen. Hello everyone, my name is Heidi de la Rosa. I'm a Spanish teacher at Hoboken High School. I have been teaching for 18 years. Um, 
What I love about teaching is seeing my students gain an understanding of another language and culture and seeing them little by little acquire more fluency. I love to see the spark on their eyes. Um, in addition to that, what I love about Hoboken High School is the sense of community. Hello, my name is Mrs. Troutman, and I teach English One College Prep and Honors and AP Literature and Composition. I've been teaching her for 18 years, and one of the things I love the most is how small and intimate our community is. This gives me an opportunity to connect with every single student and know their strengths and weaknesses and work on them over the course of the year. Thank you. I'm Jason Wanko. I am a social studies teacher at Hoboken High School. I've been in the district now for 19 years. What I love most about teaching is the interaction I have throughout the day with my students and the insights that they bring into my classroom. I grew up in Bayonne and was a part of the Hudson County community for many years. I really do appreciate that the Hoboken families and Jersey City families have welcomed me. I am happily married for the past 15 years to my wife, who is also a teacher. I have three wonderful children and a dog, and I'm looking forward to the day that things do get back to normal at Hoboken High School. Hello, my name is Christopher Munoz. I'm a history teacher here at Hoboken High School. I've been teaching here for 14 years. This year I'm teaching Latino history and culture in America, as well as U.S. history too. Um, I'm a proud Red Wing, and um, I'm looking forward to a great and productive year. Go Red Wings! Hi, my name is Manny Perez. I've been teaching here 18 years, uh, various subjects from uh, environmental science, biology, um, general science. But this year I'm teaching uh, hydroponics, aquaponics for a half a year course to, to mostly juniors and seniors. I'm teaching another half year of animal science for the back half of that class, or well, first half of the class. And I'm teaching a new course this year, which is basically um, Animal Explorations, which is a combination of four different classes, astronomy, meteorology, oceanography, or marine science, and geology. Hello everyone, I am Ms. Kerner. I'm in the history department. I have been working at Hoboken High School for more than, oh, close to 20 years. I've been an educator for close to 24. Uh, this year I'm teaching two courses. One is a personal finance economics class, and then the other class I'm teaching is Holocaust, Genocide, and Modern Humanity, uh, which is kind of a heavy topic, but we're, we're learning about a lot of different things that are so pertinent in this world today. Hi, my name is Damien Benedetto. I'm a teacher here at Hoboken High School, where I spend the greater part of my 17 years in the classroom. My favorite part of teaching at Hoboken High School, my alma mater, by the way, is being able to offer a forum for students to sort out their thoughts, develop their opinions, and strengthen their convictions. Hi, my name is Jen Park, and I'm the Supervisor of Programs and Instruction. This is my 11th year in education, and I have taught mathematics for seven years, and I was an instructional coach for three. What I love most about teaching is seeing students transform. I love seeing students transform from students who dislike math to students who love math and persevere through problems and really engage in mathematical conversations where they feel safe sharing their thinking. What I love most about Hoboken High School is a sense of community and family. You will always feel welcome and have a sense of belonging here. Hi, my name is Sharon Melinda. I've been teaching for 21 years, 12 years at Hoboken High School. Um, I got my undergraduate degree at Rutgers in English literature. I got my graduate degree in Masters of Education at Harvard. And my favorite things about teaching are the students and facing new challenges and new possibilities every day. Hello, uh, my name is Mr. Huggins. I'm an English teacher here at Hoboken High School, and I've taught here for 18 years. Some of the courses that I teach are AP Language and Composition, AP Seminar, AP Research, and English 3. Uh, I also serve as a co-advisor for the debate team's uh, Hoboken's debate team, uh, and I really love that. One of the things I love most about being in the classroom or being on the debate team is watching a student really take on a challenge, something they're really scared of, and um, they do it. They do it anyway, and they show that courage, and they're really proud of Hi, it. Hi, my name is Steve DiBernato, and I've been a teacher at Hoboken High School for almost 15 years now. 
During that time, I've worked in the middle school and the high school in both the science and the history departments, having taught seventh and eighth grade science and history, as well as world history and advanced placement world history modern to grades nine through 12. Having lived in the town of Hoboken for almost 20 years, what I love most about teaching at Hoboken High School is the opportunity to make a difference in the community in which I live. Hello, my name is Mark Teraskowitz, and I've been teaching here at Hoboken High School for the past 18 years. I teach history and social studies, and I love teaching at Hoboken High School just because I get so many different perspectives from the students in my classes, whether we're talking about an old historical issue or a current events topic. Uh, the students really bring a lot to the class. Hi, I'm Gerard Naharo, and I'm a social studies teacher here at Hoboken High School. I am teaching currently People Who Shape the World, Latino history and AP US government. I have been a teacher for about a year and I have about two years of experience as a student teacher as well. My favorite thing about Hoboken would have to be the friendly and welcoming nature of the faculty and students as well. It's been an overall amazing experience and I hope to continue here for the coming future. Hello everybody, my name is Layla Wooten and I am a math teacher here at Hoboken High School. This year I will be teaching pre-calculus um, and I will be supervising the AP statistics class. This is my first year at Hoboken and I'm very excited to be here. Uh, before this, I taught for two years at a high school outside of the Boston area in Massachusetts where I taught pre-calculus as well. I'm very excited to be over at Red Wing and um, I'm hoping to have a great school year. Thank you. Hi, this is Curdy Tang. I've been teaching in Hoboken High School for 20 years. I teach Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Calculus, and AP Calculus. Uh, I love teaching uh, in Hoboken High School because of its fantastic staff and students. And I am very happy to be back in school and teach math in person. Hi, my name is Renee Perry. I teach Algebra 2 here at Hoboken High School. I have been teaching here for two years, but I've been teaching for 16, and I love working here at Hoboken High School. It is a nice, small school where I get to know the students on a more personal level. I get to prepare them for the SATs, the ACTs, and even beyond. Hello, everyone. This is Ms. Pine. Um, this is my first year uh, in Hoboken High School. Um, this is my sixth year in teaching in total. I have taught five years in uh, in New York City, um, in Harlem, and in Bronx, but um, I grew up in New Jersey all my life, so I am excited to settle in in my home state. Um, this year I am teaching Algebra 1. I have taught Geometry Algebra 2 in the past, but um, I'm excited to work with the freshmen. Hello parents, my name is Howard McKenzie. I am the 10th grade geometry teacher, geometry teacher here at the high school. This is my 15th year in the Hoboken School District. I started here many years ago as a high school math teacher, and now I'm back again in the year 2020. I'm looking forward to uh, teaching the tricks and trades of geometry this year and getting our young people acquainted with all the tools and theorems and postulates that are needed in order to be successful. Hi, my name is Christine Cardonio, and I'm a special education and math teacher here at Hoboken High School. This is my eighth year teaching at Hoboken High School and 11th year teaching overall. I have taught a variety of grade levels from seventh grade to 12th grade, um, including 7th grade math, middle school math through pre-calculus. I am currently the girls assistant soccer coach. I previously coached softball, swimming, bowling, and cheerleading for Hoboken. I love teaching and I'm available to help any students who need it regardless if they're in my class or not. Hello, my name is Adam Anderson. I have been teaching here in the district for three years. I've been teaching in general for about six and a half years. Um, I was teaching at charter school before, but now I'm down at Hoboken High School. I was at the middle school last year. And the thing I love most about teaching is that aha moment, that moment where students understand what you're trying to uh, have them understand. And I enjoy Hoboken School District in general because the students and teachers are both very passionate about creating a sense of community. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Lanik and welcome to Back to School Night. I have been uh, mostly teaching chemistry and physics in Hoboken High School during the last three years. And one of the things that excites me the most about teaching 
is helping students understand the master material through experiments and through seeing connections between different sciences. So here I have a mini demonstration. I'm going to add some food grade yeast to some food grade, very dilute hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, there's a reaction here in this test tube. Good evening, Hoboken High School parents, and welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mr. John LeBeg. I teach biology at Hoboken High School. I'm looking forward to meeting you all tonight. Um, I've been teaching for seven years. This is my second year at Hoboken High School. What I love most about teaching at Hoboken High School is that it's a small school. We really get to know our students and, be, and we're able to support them individually. Um, I wish you a great start to the academic year. Um, and again, looking forward to meeting you all. My name is Mr. Barfield, and I've been teaching in the District of Hoboken for 35 proud years. I teach in the English department as well as the social studies. What I love about Hoboken and Hoboken High School in general is that the staff and the students are wonderful, and it's always a pleasurable experience to teach in the city of Hoboken. Hello, and welcome to Hoboken High School's virtual back to school. My name is William Apicella, and I've been teaching in the Hoboken School District for the past 37 years. The last 20 years I've been at Hoboken High School. I teach language arts, and I have a passion for Gothic style literature and the American author, Edgar Allen. What I love most about working at Hoboken High School is the small town extended family feeling that is created by the combination of the nurturing faculty and staff. Hello. I'm Miss Amun. I've been teaching in Hoboken High School for the last 15 years. I teach science, chemistry, and I love when students look at my uh, all the apparatus and they have a lab apron. They feel like they're a scientist. This gives me the pleasure of looking at them and enjoying teaching chemistry. I love my school here. All administrators, the administrators and teachers, they are very good. They help students all the time. Hello. I am Ms. Patel. I am here at Hoboken High School teaching biology to the 10th graders. Um, I've been doing this for a total of 18 years at Hoboken High School. And uh, in all, I've been teaching for a total of 20 years. I, I love, absolutely love being around the kids and um, seeing that sparkle in their eye when, when they actually get something. And science is one of those things that kids have a hard time getting. And I'm glad to be a witness to uh, them with all of their uh, aha moments. Hi, my name is Mr. Gullo. I've been at Hoboken High School for about 20 years. Uh, currently, I teach engineering, world history, biology, and C-Tech. The best thing about working at Hoboken High School is getting to work with the realest, most amazing students on the planet. And I hope I have another 20 years to do it. Good day. My name is Robin Picapietra, and I am the proud principal of Hoboken High School. I recognize that this year has been a difficult year for all of us, but as a community, we have successfully been able to get students back to school safely. Unfortunately, we are not able to come together for back to school night in our traditional fashion but we are making sure that you have the opportunity to hear about everything we have to offer in addition to meeting your child's classroom teachers. As you know, we are one of only 58 schools in the state that is offering a full traditional on-site learning model. For, for those who found more comfort in remote learning, we have a comprehensive online platform called Edgenuity. Ms. Park, Supervisor of Programs and Instruction, will share more with you about Edgenuity in a few moments. No matter what your choice will be, I assure you that all of the curriculum is aligned to the New Jersey State Learning Standards. In addition to meeting state requirements, we offer both college preparatory and honors level in all our core content disciplines. For students who choose the honors level programs, we are gearing them to be prepared for advanced placement classes. At Hoboken High School, we have one of the best offerings of AP curriculum, and students can begin that work as early as their freshman year in AP World History and or AP Environmental Science. 
we offer over 20 AP courses with 11 on site. In addition, we offer the AP Capstone College Board Program that equips students with the independent research, collaboration teamwork, and communication skills that are increasingly wanted by colleges. AP Capstone comprises two AP courses, AP Seminar and AP Research, and is designed to complement the dis discipline specific study in other AP courses. After successfully completing the seminar and research classes, students earn an AP Capstone Diploma if they have received scores of three or better in these courses, as well as in a four additional AP courses. One of our greatest offerings is the STEM field. Through our partnership with Project Lead the Way, students have the opportunity to experience biomedical science, computer science, and engineering fields of study in their freshman year. They have the option of continuing their studies in one of these disciplines throughout their high school career. These courses provide students with STEM capable skills necessary to compete in a demanding global economy. New this year, we are also offering several new mandatory social studies courses aligned with our district's commitment to diversity and anti-racism. The African American and Latino history course explores the contributions, culture, and influences of Africans and African Americans and Latinos in shaping the United States and the world. This curriculum will accurately explain the impact of prejudice, discrimination, and stereotyping. This understanding is essential in promoting the appreciation of diversity. As a junior, students will be taking Holocaust, Genocide, and Modern Humanity. This course offers the students an opportunity to examine the nature of man's inhumanity to man. Students will understand the nature of human prejudices, understand the rise of Nazi Germany, critique the Holocaust period, and examine modern genocides that occur in our world. Connections between historical events and 21st century life are stressed and include an examination of modern day instances of genocide. As a senior, all students will take People Who Shape the World. This is a one semester course that invites students to develop their curiosity as they research and examine the impact of individual might have on the world. Students will research individuals from various fields and consider how experience time and place affected each person's accomplishments and contributions. In addition to all of this, through our world language department, students have the ability to earn a graduation distinction known as the seal of biliteracy. This is an accolade that certifies mastery of two languages. Students in grade 11 or 12 may sit for an assessment in order to achieve this credential. They must demonstrate high levels of proficiency in speaking, reading, listening, and writing in two or more languages. Over the past two years, our graduating seniors have earned over 20 of these seals. Our debate team, which is best known for their work in Harvard Model Congress and Mock Trial, has earned top recognitions in both of these competitions. Our theater and music competition programs have done the same. To add to all of this, we have earned over $15 million in institutional scholarships for our senior class in the 2019-20 school year. I hope that all of this makes you as happy as it does me. We offer a comprehensive education boasting a wide array of curriculum and activities to create well-rounded and college-ready graduates. Thank you for your time. Good evening, parents and guardians. This is a brief overview about Edgenuity. Edgenuity is a company that is comprised of educators. They provide opportunity and access to a high quality education using technology to improve student outcomes. 
It is an online courseware that offers a vast variety of courses for initial credit, advanced courses, as well as credit recovery. It is a self-paced program where certified teachers provide the instructional content through videos. The program also checks for student understanding through assignments and assessments. The courses are designed by units, which are divided into lessons. Each lesson covers one topic and is accompanied by several activities. The warm-up activity builds connections to real-world situations or previous lessons to spark interest in the topic. The instructional video is chunked into sections to not overwhelm students with lengthy videos. Throughout the lesson, there may be checks for understanding. The instruction is followed by a summary that circles back to the lesson goals that were introduced in the beginning. Students show their understanding of the lesson by completing the assignment that reinforces the concept. After the assignment, students take the lesson quiz. Students are even given an opportunity to retake an assessment just in case they need that second chance. Edgenuity provides guided notes for most of their courses. Guided notes are extremely useful for students to organize the concepts and show students how to build note-taking skills. The platform also provides an area for students to take e-notes, which are always accessible. To check on your child's progress, ask your child to download their course report to see detailed information regarding all their activities. This report will show you how much time was spent on activities and their grades for assignments and assessments. It will also show you the three different grade metrics that Edgenuity provides. The overall grade shows the calculation of the scores a student received on the activities that were completed. The actual grade takes into consideration a student's progress. If the student is on target, then the overall grade and the actual grade should be the same. If a student starts to fall behind, then the actual grade will be lower than the overall grade. The relative grade is the grade a student would receive if the student were to stop working for the rest of the course and received zeros for the rest of the assignments. Please ask your child to download the course reports to monitor their progress. In addition to Edgenuity, we are building a schedule for remote instructional hours in order for students to meet with their teachers for additional support in their content area. Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, hello Red Wing Nation. Hello Red Wing Nation. My name is Mr. Christopher Munoz. I am the Student Activities Coordinator for Hoboken High School. I just want to encourage you to take advantage of a wide variety and array of opportunities we have here at Hoboken High School for student activities. Everything from government leadership clubs to cultural clubs to academic clubs. So please, along with athletics and academics, please choose student activities as a viable option here in Hoboken High School. I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. So if you'd like to see a list of activities that we have, please check out our school website or contact Mr. Munoz at the high school. Thank you. Hi, my name is Erica Gavin. My name is Jackie Dowd. My name is Hannah Gordon. And my name is Kate DeCock, and on behalf of the Hoboken Public Education Foundation Board of Directors, including Susan DeReese, Melinda Freed, Danielle Moss, Leslie Norwood, and Amy Warshawski, we're thrilled to be with all of you virtually tonight. The Hoboken Public Education Foundation is an all-volunteer, parent-run nonprofit that raises private funds to support the Hoboken Public District Schools. We strive to build a stronger school community, encouraging involvement of parents, community members, and local businesses in preserving and improving the quality of a Hoboken public education for all students. HPF raises funds through email and social media outreach, online giving campaigns, and annual events, including our back to school social, Mom's Night Out, and our annual Spring Gala. The unwavering support of our corporate sponsors and individual donors, including so many of you, has helped us to raise $1 million in our first five years. 
100% of the proceeds are used to fund important initiatives in technology, innovative programs, health and wellness, and facility upgrades in other areas across the district schools grades K through 12 at Hoboken High School, Hoboken Middle School, Brandt, Connors, and Wallace. Since 2015, we have funded more than 40 initiatives, including annual professional development training for teachers and staff, a new strings music program, auditorium sound system upgrades for the schools, and annual educational field trips, just to name a few. Last year, even in the face of COVID-19, HPEF raised $200,000 with the support of our amazing Hoboken community. We reached our goal of funding a one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative, which enabled the Hoboken Public Schools to assign and distribute a Chromebook to every district student in grades three through 12 for the school year. Whether our students need to be remote or on site, they will have the technology and tools they need to be successful. And we're excited that HPF will be funding art supplies for the district. Art boxes with personal supplies for the elementary school students, and individual sketch pads and pencils for the middle and high school students. All students will be eligible for these supplies, whether remote or in person. Stay tuned for additional distribution details from each school. We hope you will join us in our efforts to further strengthen our already amazing schools and school community. Engage with us, visit our website and join our mailing list. Connect with us on our social media platforms and attend our events. Volunteer with us, help us grow by sharing HPEF announcements with your networks. Or for those with more time to give, HPEF is looking for volunteers with, to help with fundraising, marketing PR, and website design. And finally, consider supporting HPEF with a donation, whether you donate $5 or $500, or you can connect us to corporate sponsors for even greater support you will help us fund new initiatives across our schools. As we look ahead, HPEF will continue to aim higher on behalf of our Hoboken Public Schools and students, knowing that with your help, we can reach even higher heights. Stay tuned for an HPEF community survey seeking your feedback, which we will send via email to our mailing list and share on social media in the weeks ahead. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hello. I am Mr. England, and I am the Director of Athletics here at Hoboken High School. I'd like to offer a little bit about the why, when, and how to become a Red Wing. First, why become a Red Wing? There are many benefits of co-curricular or education-based athletics. First, athletics support the academic mission of Hoboken High School. They are not a diversion, but rather an extension of our rigorous educational program. Red Wings who participate in sports programs tend to have higher grade point averages, better attendance records, lower dropout rates, and fewer discipline problems than students generally. Secondly, athletics are inherently educational. Sports programs provide valuable lessons and skills for practical situations, like teamwork, fair play, and hard work. Through participation in athletics, students learn self-discipline, build self-confidence, and develop skills to handle competitive situations. These are qualities students need if they are to become responsible adults, productive citizens, and skilled professionals. Thirdly, athletics promote health and well-being. Mental and physical health are both improved through sports. Self-concept, self-image, physical activity, and weight management are a few of these health benefits realized through sport participation. And finally, athletics foster success in later life. Participation in high school activities is often a predictor of later success in college, a career, and becoming a contributing healthy member of society. Next, when are sports offered? We offer 24 different programs at Hoboken High School, so there's a lot to choose from. In a, in a traditional year, a non-COVID year, we offer three separate seasons, fall, winter, and spring. Each season offers a variety of sports. In the fall, we have football, cheerleading, girls and boys soccer, and girls volleyball. Although this year due to COVID, girls volleyball was postponed until February. In the winter, we offer basketball, indoor track, bowling, swimming, cheer, and wrestling. And in the spring, we offer baseball, softball, outdoor track, boys volleyball, 
girls lacrosse and boys lacrosse. Now, how to become a Red Wing. As the season approaches, so for winter, you're gonna look mid-November and for spring, maybe late February, take a look at our athletic website, which you could find on the district website right here. You click on athletic website, take it to this page, and then you'll see you can register right online. We have a preseason registration open on our website right now for fall sports. You have to complete an annual sports physical. Information is here, and the actual physical information or the physical itself can be found right here at this link. You print one out, you bring it to your doctor or pediatrician, and on a yearly basis, you have to submit that form to our trainer, Gerard Freeman. Gerard's information can be found down here. And finally, the last part of how is do the right thing in school. As a student athlete, you are a student before you're an athlete. Get to school on time, listen to your teachers and administrators, and keep your grades up. We follow NJSA academic policy. We follow Hoboken Board of Ed academic policy and all the school rules found in your student handbook. Now that you have the why, when, and how to become a Red Wing, I look forward to seeing you on the field of play. Good morning, my name is Barbara Melfi. I am the proud parent of two Hoboken High School seniors. I've had the great honor the past few years of running the Hoboken High School PTO. Our main function has been to build a community among parents and guardians to give parents and guardians an opportunity to have their voice heard with administrators, teachers, students, and to support all of those people. If you would please join us Tuesday evening, 6 p.m., October 6th, we're going to have a Q&A with Principal Picapietra, and she'll also update us on what's happening in school since we've gone back. Please join us. I'd love to see you.